that's ominous. When it rains, it pours. Remember I had uh, plumbing issues with my laundry drain just a while ago? Well, it's gotten worse. So today I'm gonna have to dig out my main drain line going to the street, but I'm not doing it by hand. I'm using a pressure washer. This thing is gonna cut down the time and it's gonna make it really easy today on Voiding Warranties. Voiding Warranties, where safety is our third concern. Alright guys, I have a pond pump. This is actually my backup for the aquaponics setup. And this thing is pumping the water out of the hole. I'm going to use this pressure washer to dislodge the dirt. It'll go down, get pumped out. Everything will work out. I'll be happy drinking beers in a little while. Hooray! pump's getting clogged, but it is getting the job done. Ah. Let's plug it back in, get more of this muddy water out of here. <sighs> Alright. Well, I've got some bad news here. My, uh, my pump doesn't like the muddy water. It's uh, getting clogged up with mud and rocks and then stopping. Hmm. Well, there's always plan B. Plan B is we get the hose deep enough and we siphon out. Don't even worry about the pump. Oh yeah, that'll be a fun job starting that siphon. You know, it might not work at all because the water's not even uh, high enough to be lower than the ditch. Oh yeah. This gets better and better. Let's put more water in there. Some of you knew it was going to come to this. No spoilers. Alright, I was not prepared for the hole to be at the lowest point of the yard. I mean, not like the hole is the lowest. I mean, the point where I dug the hole is also the lowest. This sucks. Ugh. Would you guys believe that people pay take baths and mud. I mean, like, instead of this costing me money, the plumber should have been like, hey, I'll pay you money just for being in your mud. And it sounded funnier in my head. This has turned into quite a bit more than I had bargained for, as plumbing often does. I have a sump pump in there. I'm pumping out what I'm spraying in with a pressure washer. I found the main drain old clay pipe, but I don't think that's the current drain. And I don't know where the current drain pipe is. So I'm gonna use a trick I used for cleaning out the laundry drain, and I'm gonna blow compressed air through the pipe and shoot water out wherever the leak is and hopefully track it down. Or get myself absolutely filthy in the process, which it's kind of too late for that. 
So let's let's give this a shot. This will either work great or it'll be hilarious. No promises. There it is. Unplug it. Now I know you guys wanted to see the full repair and everything get done, but that didn't happen. Actually, I ended up pulling something and then uh, it turned out to be a huge job. Uh, the whole pipe actually had to be replaced because it was old, black, crumbly plastic. And there was no way to reasonably fix the pipe without just ripping the whole thing out end to end and replacing it. And that was too much of a job for me. But now I can show you how to do hydro excavation the right way and do it quick and do it efficiently so you can repair your own stuff at home using a pressure washer and a vacuum cleaner. Over here, I have a vacuum cleaner. Now this vacuum cleaner is specifically designed to go on top of a five gallon bucket. And because of that, I can vacuum out the hole, straight to a bucket, swap out buckets, keep going. But because this is voiding warranties, the switch is broke on this vacuum because I burned it out. So I have this vacuum over here to take suction off this vacuum so this vacuum can fill the five gallon bucket. Here, I have the wand on the pressure washer. Now this has a zero degree nozzle. Little straight stream. And this is just with the garden hose. Now what I found is you can use the fan nozzles and they'll kind of cut through the dirt a little bit, but this thing, it slices through the dirt like a knife. So you can cut off chunks of dirt, vacuum them up with a vacuum cleaner. Bob's your uncle. Let me show you. laser-like lines in the dirt with the pressure washer and the vacuum will pull mud right out of here so this hard to deal with clay soil it cuts right through and I can make a little pocket hole as big or as small as I want it very precisely with the pressure washer now as you can see if you have big chunks of mud the vacuum cleaner will clog and you'll have to deal with that um, a bigger vacuum cleaner with a bigger hose would do better but there's also another solution. You could get yourself a trash pump and just keep pumping out the muddy water with the trash pump. But the nice thing about a vacuum cleaner is when you get done with this hole and you just want to put everything back, My wife will not complain about the new hole in the yard. So here's what we've learned. If you're gonna do hydro excavation, get a good vacuum cleaner or get a trash pump. You need to use the zero degree pencil stream nozzle because it'll just slice through dirt like nobody's business. And it really helps if you have one person with the vacuum cleaner, one person with the pressure washer, and five guys changing out the vacuum cleaner buckets. Then you can just cut through this stuff quick. But why would you do this instead of a shovel? Any gas lines or phone lines or anything like that? It'll just clean the surface up. You'll find it right there and you go, oh, that's where my gas line is. Instead of with an excavator where you go, kathunk, spark, kathunk, kaboom. And then you go, oh, that's where my gas line is. So hydro excavation is, is really the way to go. And using this as the at-home method, the real shortcoming you have is just getting the mud and water out but there are ways to make that work. 
So as always, if you've liked this video, click like. If you want to see more like it, click subscribe. And remember, keep on voiding warranties.